Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse. In today's video, I've learned about input functions in Julia. So, what are input functions? Input functions are very useful. Most programming languages like Python, like C, already have some an input function that helps them to print out whatever you are, and then also store and then print it out. So, for example, in Python, let's say you got something like this name, you can have a function already inbuilt called input. In which you can store something like this so enter name right and then so this is going to store whatever value you're going to put here and then store inside this variable so if i enter like just when i go back to name it's going to print it perfectly for me so in this tutorial i've learned about how to do such things in julia so in julia to do that you just go straight away and create a function that is going to do that purpose so function, then we're going to use the name input to stay consistent, and then we go with. So inside this, we're going to put our methods. It's going to be prompt, and then we go with abstract string. The abstract string is some like form of abstraction. It is usually like abstract string in Java, which is immutable. So abstract string, then. To bracket so whatever value you're going to enter is going to be stored inside this place and then you go straight away with the normal syntax with print you're going to print the first prompt then go with the next one return which is the last which is going to return the last function return it used in most function format is chop this chop is usually for it's usually remove a single line we have chop and then chomp so it is also used during manipulation of strings so then i'm going to put read line read line is used when you are reading a line from a file already so it's going to be read using it to read the lines reading whatever you're going to be entering and then into brackets then you don't forget to bring the end so perfectly that's created this function which is an input function with two methods so if, if i go with name is equal to input just like as we did in the previous example so enter your nice name right so this same thing is going to just store the name inside this variable name so it just printed this one for us just like as we print prompt and then we're going to go forward with let's say uh, j security so if i see that just printed it perfectly for us so if i go with name it has been stored inside this so this is a basic concept about input so you can just create this function and then be using it throughout your script and to be very helpful to you so thank you for watching if you have any question or suggestion or comment you can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and then please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.